Hello everyone, we are back for another writing activity. So what we're going to do now that we read Arthur's pet business, now we're going to do our writing just like we did over here. We're gonna do the, go through the same process, find all the characters, find the settings, find the problem and the solution. And then we have one more step after that. So let's get started. Oh, before we begin writing, I do wanna say you need your packet, a pencil, but you're also gonna get your yellow crayon. So I'm gonna give you a second to go and find your yellow crayon. We're not going to need it yet, but at the end after our writing, we will need our crayon. All right, so if you need more time, just press pause. If not, let's get started. Okay, so we have Arthur's pet business here. So let's think about who the characters were in this story. <sighs> well, just by looking at the cover, I can see Arthur. So let's start by writing his name. And now let's go through our story and see who all the characters are. Okay, so we have Arthur here and his sister. That's D.W. All right, D.W. Oh, they're having dinner. Mom and Dad. Mom. Mm. Ah. Mm. Dad. D. Add. I need to make this a bit bigger for ya. I don't want to make it too big because I want you to be able to see the picture still. Okay. Oh, still DW, mom and dad. Same characters. Same characters. Hmm. We have a new, oops, sorry, can't see him. We have a new character. Do you remember what the dog's name was? Perky. So let's write Perky. P -p 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 -er -k -e. Perky. And then we have his owner here. Her name is Mrs. Wood. M Mrs. Wood. Mrs. Wood, okay. Arthur Perky, Arthur Perky mom. Arthur. Oh, we have all the other animals. We could write animals down. An is a power word. I, m, o, animals. Because they're in the story. They're not a huge part individually, but they are important, so we will write them down. His family still, all the animals. Oh, we've got Buster here. Let's write his name. B. Uh. St er. Buster. We have the family. The family. Oh, Mrs. Wood, we have her already. Okay. Oh, and his new puppy. So we can write puppy. P -a -p -e. Puppy. All right. So we have Arthur, D.W., Mom, Dad, Perky, Mrs. Wood, the animals that he's watching, Buster, and his new puppy. Okay, so now we need to think about the setting. Where is Arthur? So let me zoom this back out for you a little bit so you can see the pictures better. And now we're gonna think about where Arthur is. Where is he? 
Oh, he's at the pet shop, so let's write that. P -p -p -e -t shop. Sh that's S H, that's a digraph, I know that. Sh ah. P We're at the pet shop. Oh, now he's at his house again. <gasps> Is a 2G power word. Still at his house. He's still at his house. He's thinking about things here. Oh, they're hanging up signs. Hmm. So where would you say he is? Oh, I know. You could say that he's outside. We could write that. Out. Out. I know how to write out. Side. That's a 2G category word. Oh, he's at his house again. He's at. Oh, this is Mrs. Woods' house. He had to go next door. So that's right. And we already wrote Mrs. Woods up here in the character, so I'm going to copy that. Mrs. Wood. House. Okay. Let's see, he's at home. Oh, here he's outside. We already wrote outside though. He's at his house. He's at his house. He's at his house. <laughs> Let's see, he's still at his house. All right, so that's it. So we have the pet shop, his house, he was outside. And then he was at Mrs. Wood's house as well. All right, the problem. Hmm. There are a few different problems here in this story. But there are two really big problems. Let's think. What are his problems? What does Arthur really want? Hmm, what does Arthur really want? Oh, he wants a puppy. That's right. So let's write that. Arthur wants. Want is a power word. Want. Arthur wants a puppy. Up E. There's another problem though. What happens towards the end of the book? Uh, not here, here. Why are they all going crazy? That's right, Perky was lost. So we're gonna write and, so Perk, or, sorry, let me back it up, getting a little mixed up here. Arthur wants a puppy and, there are two problems, and Perky Perky's up in my um, characters. Perky Went, oh, that's a power word. Missing. Mm, I, s, ing, ing. Oh, I know that ending. Ing, in, g, ing. Arthur wants a puppy and Perky went missing. Cover that up so it's not too confusing. Good, okay. Now, the solution. So we have two problems, so we need to write two solutions. So the first problem, Arthur wants a puppy. So what does Arthur do to get a puppy? He runs his, his pet business. Yeah, he has all the animals at his house, right? He takes care of them. So we can write, Arthur makes a pet 
business. Ooh, all right. Arthur makes, make is a power word, makes a pet p p at business b i s n e s Arthur makes a pet business is problem num is solution number 1 sorry and then the other problem was perky went missing so what ha oops sorry classroom lights went off <laughs> Let me turn them back on. So sorry. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay. So, Perky went missing. So what did he do? Where was she? That's right. Arthur. New sentence. Arthur found Ow, there's that ow sound again. Ow, and perky in his room. Room. Arthur makes a pet business. Arthur found perky in his room. Okay, so please make sure you have finished all of this writing. If you need more time, as always, just press pause, and when you're ready, you can press play and we'll continue on. So now, we're going to look at our writing and all of the elements for our two stories, and we're going to use our yellow crayon here. And we're going to find all of the things that are the same. Okay? All of the things that are the same. So let's just start by looking at characters. Let's read off. Arthur. Was Arthur also in this story? Yes. So we're just going to take our yellow crayon and underline Arthur like so. Okay. Our next character is Mr. Ratburn. Was Mr. Ratburn in this story? Let's see. DW, Mom, Dad, Perky, Mrs. Woods, Animals, Buster, Puppy. Nope. So we're not going to do anything for Mr. Ratburn. We're going to leave his name like that. Now we're going to look at the next one. DW. Was DW in both stories? Yes. So we're going to underline DW's name like that. How are we doing so far? Doing good? Okay. Buster. Let's see. Mom, Dad, Perky, Mrs. Woods, Animals. Oh, Buster. Buster is the same. He's in both books. Was his friend the brain in both books? Let's see. Mom, Dad, Perky, Mrs. Woods, Animals, and Puppy. Nope, the brain wasn't in both books, so we're not going to underline his name. Let's see. Francine. Hmm, was Francine in both books? Let's see. Mom, Dad, Perky, Mrs. Woods, Animal, and Puppy. Nope, Francine wasn't in that one. How about Mom? Ooh, Mom was in both stories. Underline Mom. And Dad. Dad was also in both stories. Okay, we have a few extras on this side, so let's check them. Perky, was Perky in this, was in the story? Nope. How about Mrs. Woods? Mr. Ratbird and Brain, Francine, nope. The animals were not in this story, and the puppy was not in this story. So that is all done. Now, we're going to move up and talk about the setting and see which is the same. Let's see, school. Was Arthur at school here? Pet shop, house, outside, Mrs. Wood's house. Nope. His house. Oh, his house is in both stories. The river. Nope, he didn't go to the river here. 
The library? No, those aren't library. Sugar bowl? Nope, he didn't go to the ice cream shop again. Okay, let's see. Pet shop? He didn't go there in this one. Outside? He was outside. He was at the river, but he wasn't at the river here, so that's a little bit different. And Mrs. Wood's house? Nope, he didn't go there. Okay. Alright, so the setting, the only thing that's the same is that he was at his house his house in both stories. Let's move on to the next portion. The problem. Let's see. For Arthur writes a story, his problem was Arthur needs to write a story. Okay. And in Arthur's pet business here, Arthur wants a puppy and Perky went missing. Are those problems the same or different? They are different, you're right. There is something that's similar with both of these books though. Not the problems. They both did involve his puppy because in this one he ended up writing about his puppy and this is when he got his puppy. But the problems are not the same. Let's see, the solution. Arthur wrote about his dog and asked his friends and family for help. Hmm, okay. Arthur makes a pet business. Arthur found Perky in his house, in his room. Are those problems the same, I mean the solutions the same? No, they're not the same. Hmm, okay. So we're not going to underline anything there either. So now that we looked at everything that was the same and we underlined them, now we're going to think about what was different. This is called contrasting. We compared to see what was the same. Now we're going to contrast and talk about what is different. All right, let's see. In the car for the characters, the teacher was only in this one, and two of his friends were only in this one. In pet business, Perky was only was there, Mrs. Woods, the animals, the puppy, those only came in the pet business story. Uh, let's see. For Arthur writes a story, he went to school, the river, the library, and the sugar bowl. He kind of went all around town in this story. But in pet business, he went for a walk outside, but mainly the whole story was at his house. He did go, to, he did start at the pet shop and he visited the neighbor to get the dog, but the majority of the story, he was just at home. For the problems, the problems are different. Um, this one, he had trouble figuring out what his story should be. And in this book, the dog, he really wanted a pet and he made this business and then he lost one of the animals and that's a big problem. And then the solutions were different because the problems were different. Uh, Arthur was able to find a story but then his friends and his family kept giving him ideas so he kept changing it. And then for this one, he really wanted that puppy, so he made a business. And then he was able to find Perky in his bedroom. And he ended up getting his puppy. Okay, so we have com now compared and contrasted our two stories. Your last job is to tell your families about our two stories here and tell them what is the same. And tell them some things that are different. All right, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. I will see you next week.